Hi everyone, welcome back to Crochet Rocks. Tracy here, and this is the latest Crochet Now bumper Christmas issue. We have four in one. We've got exclusive Wallace and Gromit pattern, Toft pattern book turnover. That's supposedly worth twelve ninety nine. We have stocking patterns, Knit Pro crochet hook for every reader, but that's always in there. You have to send off for it. Um, ten percent off your Christmas sh yarn shopping, and you can get ten percent off your Christmas yarn shopping with Hobby Rocks. Um, if you use Wands voucher, five must make patterns. Sorry, fifty one. Didn't see the one. There's the Toft thingamajig. So let's get in. And whoops, sorry for knocking you out. But while I'm getting into this, if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i promise if you do i won't knock you out again okay so let's get all this out and we'll get rid of the bag so with it the, there's the wallace and gromit collection of patterns well i'll put that aside we'll look at that in a minute we've got the magazine and then we've got the toft one so we'll put all those aside and we'll concentrate on the magazine first so we've got snuggly accessories get ready for christmas makes under 10 pounds gifts everyone will love cozy home designs jolly and bright blankets kind of triangular santas we have an adorable amigurumi of rudolph and i could identify that one guys isn't I'm sort of getting better but mind you the red nose and the antlers that kind of give it away we've got this little dicky birdie tweet tweet 51 festive patterns lovely layers uh, plus expert inspiration exclusive discounts on your yarn shopping and more like I said you can always get discount if you go over to one at the yarn addict he has a discount voucher for my shop which is in the description box below hobby box so also let's have a look at this um this page see if there's anything we haven't seen um they kind of you saw that sort of very small picture on the front cover and you didn't see how long the scarf was but we did see this guy um we've got a pullover now i always think if you're going to be warm and toasty and have a polar neck you know, would you really want it that short and not have it all the way down? See, personally, I prefer sleeves that are not long, but, you know, it just seems to me it should be a real down here and proper cuffs. But, you know, it's it's festive. We have cushions, we have blankets, and all oh, these are cute. I do have something very similar to that in my um, tutorials already, if you haven't seen it. I'll put a link at the end. It's my long stocking hat. Okay, so what's new? This is Joseph Bear, and they're uh, patterns from King Cole. Um, so this is a new yarn. What's this? This is cotton spun, is that say? Maybe not. Cottage spun. Oh, I don't like it when they do weird fonts. So I've not actually seen cottage spun, although I don't, I don't, I do get them newsletters because I am a stockist, but um cottage spun every ball of king cold cottage spun chunky a donation will be made to the loose ends project that's quite nice this uh what's that croatia Cro crochet oasis it's the latest knit pro um i could stock that if i wanted to i could go and get that i do stock knit pro quite a lot of nice knit pro bits um we'll go on Show us your makes. These are when people have like sent in their pictures. I've uh, got a bum bag. Or as they call it in the US, a fanny pack, which, you know, it makes me chuckle. I love bag puss. Another, uh, this is the Knit Pro Oasis set. It's interchangeable. One handle, lots and lots of attachments. Hmm, unusual. Okay, so this is the twist and turn poncho i was making one very similar to that and i uh, never got it finished i'll have to get cracking with my whips i have about three ponchos that i was making never mind 
get there in the end. These are the perfect poinsettia blanket. I must admit, I've got so many whips on the go. I really do need to get a bit more on the ball and finish them. So this is, um, I don't know if I like the bow, but I quite like the ends. But you could always make it without the bow. You could perhaps just do something there, like a Santa buckle or something. Mm, not really my thing, that one. Cozy Candle Light Sweater. That's the one that was on the front cover. I'm not telling you who they're by, am I? Being a bit remiss of me. Chloe Elizabeth Birch, this one. And it goes from an extra small for a 5XL. That's the back of it. See, now the draft would get right up there, wouldn't it? I think it needs to be longer, just saying. Sam the Superhero Dog. This one's by the Ebury Design Team. Never heard of them, but he's kind of cute if you like doing your amigurumis. Ah, oh, I like his back. That's quite cute. So this is West Yorkshire Spinner's Fable. Not to be confused with the... What's going on with my gimbal? Sorry about that. It's having a wonder. Maybe because I smacked you. I don't know. But <laughs> it was getting further and further round. How strange. Anyway, West Yorkshire Spinner's Fable. Looks a bit scratchy. It's Falklands wool. It's got alpaca and mohair. Can't have that then. I'm allergic to mohair, but... Um, the Lion brand, I think it was, or Premier Fable, is the one I really got my eye on. But can't get hold of that. Well, I can, I, if I go onto Amazon, but I'd have to wait months for it, and the price is astronomical. So this is Little Pudding Bunting. That's unusual. Or garland, as some people like to call it. This is Jane Howarth's design. I don't think I really want to eat a triangular pudding. I think you might have done better making them round. Just saying. You could have done semicircle. Never mind. Um, I'm being picky. Calling all crochet enthusiasts. At Craft World. It's just a way of getting you in there, isn't it? You have to pay for that. Santa's Little Helper Hats. As I say, I'll put a link to mine at the end. But these are super cute. Um, you get this Nipro Luxury Hook Set. Not the same as the interchangeable one that we saw earlier. But this is worth £55 if you subscribe. Mm, might a nice it will offer. There you go. That's how you do it. What we got here? A tree skirt with little cottages on it. <clears throat> this is by Gemma Williams. And it does up with bows. And there's the pattern. With, um, I do love a chart. You know I love a chart. If you've been watching me for a long time, you know I love a chart. So this is Coco the Reindeer. Why don't they just call him Rudolph? Anyway, this is by Cassandra White. It's got a red nose and everything. A bit disappointing. Never mind, but he does look cute. He even looks cute from the back. It looks like, I want to say that's a mince pie that he's got there. Cozy Christmas Colour Story. What's this all about? Great for a baby blanket, perfect for Dad's Christmas jumper. Just an advert, really, basically, I think. For something. This is ca Cracking Christmas Knits. I'm having a bit of trouble. Issue 173 of Knit Now. Oh, I see. That's what it is. An advert for Knit Now. I'm with you now. Pura Vida Cow, Part 6. Been going a while by Eleonora Tully. Fantastical Frost Scarf and Mittens. This one by Jane Howarth. That was on the front cover. Um, what's this style craft yarn? Uh, Re love. Mm, nothing much. So the countdown to Christmas starts now. Contents worth over a hundred and forty-two pounds for sixty-nine ninety-nine. So I'm not really ever had anything like this. They've got little tiny boxes, little tiny boxes. So that kind of puts me off. You're going to get little tiny balls. So for fifty nine ninety nine, just saying, I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas Santa sacks where there's 12 parcels wrapped up that are numbered. They'll either be 1 to 12 or they'll be 13 to 24. And... They are, I guarantee, that contents are worth more than the cost. And um, I'm thinking of doing another little announcement about them soon. 
but uh, they're um, going quite well. So if you haven't seen my shop, check it out. So we've got Book Club. We have um, Crochet Secrets. Incidentally, there are no tiny, tiny, tiny little balls of yarn in my... Just saying. Um, turn over to read excerpt from this book. This month, we're brushing up on our finishing touches with Anna Lazina's Crochet Secrets from the Naughty Boss. See, now I tried to do that. I did it exactly as the tutorial suggested. And mine were all over the place. Just couldn't get the hang of that one. But there we go. And we all know how to do that. That's just fringing, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on a bit. <clears throat> if you want to know how to do all these fringes and <clears throat> stuff like that, that's the book for you. Um, did I tell you what it was? Maybe I did. Yeah. Uh, crochet now and knits for the summer. More adverts. Santa's coming to town blanket. And this is by the Red Heart design team. So these are triangular Santas and triangular coloured triangles. Took me a while to come up with that one, didn't it? Don't know what happened there. <laughs> okay, moving on. Happy Berries Crochet Notebook. Now, I really, really like Laura. Um, One of the very first people I ever... Oh, for goodness sake, we're doing it again. What is going on with this stupid thing? I don't know. Anyway, Laura was one of the very first people that I subscribed to when I found crochet on YouTube, long before I ever had a channel of my own. And, um, oh, this thing is annoying me. If I do that, then hopefully it'll sort itself out. Um, and then she she actually even messaged me a few times, which is really, really nice. She ducked out for a while. She went overseas, but she's back. And she's got a knitting channel as well. I really, really like Laura. She's so nice. And, yeah, got some good tutorials too, if you haven't seen her channel. Happy Berry Crochet. Happy Berry Knitting. Little shout out for Laura. So this is Hay Barker's Cushions. They've got these things are sticking out, which... You know, I like to put my head on a cushion now and then and get some pretty weird patterns on your face. But it is nice, it's festive. And also, you've got little tutorials on how to make the embellishments, which you could use for other things, like little squares, just saying. So, superstars, huh? I'm going to move on from that one. And these are all the advert pages and the free Knit Pro, which I never send off for. I never remember. Gerald the Goose by Melissa Watson. I like. I like the goose. That way little, little flippery feet stick up. That's kind of cute. Um, there's his back. If you're just wondering. But oh, isn't he sweet? I like him. So we've got a little advert for some yarns. We've got the Jelly Baby and all these yarns. These are standard abbreviations as well. Um, inside the next issue, Sugar Plum Christmas. Oh, we've got <clears throat> Sean the Sheep and a Hook and all these patterns. So that's on the last bit. Zoe Pottrack. Um, it's not a, not a pattern, though. And Rika Rooney Candy Canes. Right, we'll stop making all that noise. Got to keep my eye on this thing. Keeps travelling. I don't know why. Must be something I've done. Probably something I've done. So should we look at Wallace and Gromit first before we do the toft as it's nice and small? Okay, so we've got... That's cute, isn't it? Now, I've got a Christmas stocking tutorial um, for a chunky one that's made with chenille, but um, most of my Christmas stockings I've made have been exactly this. So um, I might do a tutorial for that. Um, it's been a long time since I made one, but I've got a few more people to make them for now. But look at this. We've got Wallace and Gromit. We've got a big Gromit. I don't know if it's a backpack. A cushion, sorry. And we've got Wendeline or Wendeline and Preston, the bad guys. But there we go, the stocking. And all the... Oh, look. All the... Oh, that's so cute. I know a son of mine would love that. Just saying. My eldest is nuts on Wallace and Gromit. 
grew up with it. Oh, look, isn't he brilliant? That's my phone. I've got to uh, turn it onto quiet. Well, there's Gromit, because they're together. And then we've got Wenderline and Preston. And <laughs> Preston's good. I like him. Wenderline's mouth's a bit weird, but, you know, I suppose it's hard to get that perfect. And that is quite cool. That is quite cool. And I said, I know Paul would love all these. So that is the Wallace and Gromit, and that's that's worth having. Now, this is meant to be worth £12.99, wasn't it? Or something like that. So let's have a look, shall we? And see if it actually is. £12.99. Luxury crochet patterns, premium accessories, homewares, toys and more from the experts. Gift ideas for the whole family. It's very, very kind of bookish. You know, very good, um, thick quality. So we've got Bailey scarf, pendant stocking, mould beret, marjoram cushion, Christmas wish list, courtyard cowl, Gibson the pompadour cottiga, cottinga, don't know what one of them is. Midwinter hot water bottle cover, Yuletide scarf, mini golden scarab beetle, gift bow, gilded hat and a gilded bauble. OK, let's move on. This is the Bailey scarf. So it's a bit stripey. Vertical stripes. Nice and easy for the beginner, that one. Then we've got another Christmas stocking, but it's got pendants on it. Um... I don't know why you'd want to put pendants on it, but you can, you know, you put anything you want on your stocking. This is the mould beret. Never worn a beret. Hats don't suit me. Well, red ones, funnily enough, look better, but berets I'm not sure about. This is the marjoram cushion. I've seen this design a million times with the um, the puffed corners. Christmas wish list. So we've got all of the adverts that you can possibly imagine. And this is the Courtyard Cow. It's very easy and simple and just same stitch. Um, you know, nothing difficult there. Gibson, the Pompadour Cottinga. So that's what one of them is. It's a bird. Never knew that. I never heard of it before in my life. And... We've got more pictures of him. This is gift colour, sorry, toft colour palette. So obviously they want to flog you some of their yarn for the trouble. This is the midwinter hot water bottle cover. Now, I just want to say a little word of warning, not about the pattern, but about the contents of that. If you have a hot water bottle, if you like using them, if you use them at a certain time of any month or whatever you might use them for, then please check the date on it. Because at the top, around this part, there is a little daisy or a little kind of round embellishment, em embossed kind of rubber. And in it is the date that it was manufactured. And you're meant to keep them for two years because there have been incidents where they're splitting open from the side, they're just bursting and scalding people because you put... A lot of people put boiling water straight from the kettle. And my mother always used to. And, you know, we had one where this part here was all bulging. It was near enough ready to burst. And yet she was still putting boiling water in that thing and taking it to bed with her because she used to like warming her feet. But you need to be careful with them. Now, some of them are saying that two years from the date you started using it. But... The actual guideline says two years from its manufacture, you meant to throw it out because rubber perishes, especially with boiling hot water in it. So that's all I'm going to say on that subject. But this is their hot water bottle cover. It's really nice. I like that. I like the fact that they've used the cables. They've got double treble cables so that in the US is a treble. So we call that a double treble. Double trouble. Double trouble. Your tied scarf, now that's well nice. I like that one. I don't know about the fringing. Fringing always looks tatty after a while. Sometimes it looks tatty from the beginning. But they haven't really cut this one off, but they should have made it look a little neater, but never mind. Millie Golden Scarab Beetle. Now, if I didn't know that that's what that was because it's written down, I would not have a clue 
what that guy is. I thought it was an alien of sorts. But that's what it is. That's what it is. Gift bow. That's just a bit of a cop-out one, isn't it, really? <laughs> to be honest with you, because it's just... It's just a length made into a bow. So really did we need a tutorial for that. This is the gilded hat. So we've got a pattern here and that's quite cute. I like that. Not so much the bauble though. I don't see the point. But, you know, if you want to make patterns for a bauble and you don't necessarily need to make them look like this, this is uh, not too bad a thing. Understanding your pattern, so telling you all the bits about it, how to read it, the bits in commas and brackets and everything else. So that's pretty useful page. So that's the Toft book. So we've had this. Do you think it was worth twelve ninety nine? Just your opinion. Um, and then we've got the Crochet Now magazine itself. And then we've got this absolutely delightful Wallace and Gromit. At least my... At least my gimbal stopped travelling. Thank goodness for that. I don't know where it was going to go, but maybe I've got bad breath. <laughs> I was trying to get away, perhaps. I don't know. A bit weird, that. Anyway, what do you think of these magazines? This is kind of a Christmas bumper pack, although it's the early one. There will be another one, another Christmas edition that you saw them advertising. So tell me what you liked, what you don't like. I love this book and some of the things in there and in the, the magazine caught my eye. But it'd be interesting to know what you guys think. And uh, let me know in the comments. And um, thank you so much for watching. And as I said before, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.